On the eve of Princess Diana's funeral, the royal family is returning to London, hoping and perhaps to quell some of the criticism of their actions since Diana's death. The Queen's convoy arrived in London. As it swept up to Buckingham Palace, the limousine halted at the gates, and the Queen and Prince Philip got out to take in the mass of floral tributes. The Queen was actually extremely nervous because she could feel the hostility, and actually she heard him say, oh, well, about time you've come. You know, you, it, it, they can hear an awful lot of things that the crowd say. And then I think a woman actually gave her a bunch of flowers and said, would you like me to place it for you? And the woman said, no, ma'am, it's for you. And that sort of broke the ice. It was that moment. And I think suddenly people saw her, instead of feeling all prickly and angry, they suddenly thought, my goodness, this is, this is a grandmother and she's got to deal with all this. Queen Elizabeth will speak publicly today about the death of Diana, Princess of Wales. Joining me from London is NPR's Michael Goldfarb to talk about the extraordinary move by the Queen to speak to her subjects. Any idea what she will say today? Uh, it will be a very carefully crafted speech because people will listen to it with great interest. Since last Sunday's dreadful news, we have seen throughout Britain and around the world an overwhelming expression of sadness at Diana's death. So what I say to you now as your queen and as a grandmother, I say from my heart. First, I want to pay tribute to Diana myself. She was an exceptional and gifted human being. In good times and bad, she never lost her capacity to smile and laugh, nor to inspire others with her warmth and kindness. I admired and respected her for her energy and commitment to others. I hope that tomorrow we can all, wherever we are, join in expressing our grief at Diana's loss and gratitude for her all too short life. I thought she said everything she should have said. Can't think of anything that she left out at all. I think it's completely appropriate. 